بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از انگلش ٹرانسلیشن آف دا مجلس آف حضرت مولانا قوم الزماں صاحب دامت برکاتہ وچ ٹک پلیس آن چوز ڈے دا ٹوینٹی سیونتھ آف محرم فورٹین فورٹی فائیو کارسپونڈنگ ود دا انگلش ڈیٹ ففٹینتھ آف آگسٹ ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی تھری حضرت والا از اسٹارٹنگ آف by quoting the ibarat of Hazrat Sheikh Abdul Haq Muhaddis Dehlwi rahmatullah alayh and he goes on to say that there was no prominent alim that came to Ilahabad people like Mohanana Ali Miya sahab, Hazrat Kari Tayyab sahab except that Hazrat Mohanana Shah Wasiullah sahab used to read this article of Hazrat Muhaddis عبد الحق محدد دیلوی رحمۃ اللہ علیہ آؤٹ ٹو دیم اٹ اسٹارٹس آف لائک دس آل پریز از ڈیو ٹو اللہ سبحان و تعالی پیس اینڈ سیلیوٹیشنس ٹو رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دس ان سگنیفیکنٹ سرونٹ عبد الحد حق ابن سیف الدین ترک Dehalwi Bukhari states, All erudite and insightful scholars who are listed amongst the enlightened and reliable personalities accept that the most effective, in fact, the most superior form of ibadat is the sohbat and the companionship of the Ahlullah and remaining in the company of the close servants of Allah. When a seeker observes that their steadfastness, firmness and unity of purpose, he develops strength and courage. Consequently, the fatigue of worship and the difficulties of spiritual exercises which are essentials of this path become easy for him. In fact, when he holds their beauty, when he beholds Their beauty, his heart, develops a special noor and effulgence. As a result, the darkness of doubts and misforgivings, which is the real cause behind the barrier between him and Allah Ta'ala, is removed from his heart. <coughs> Now look, Sheikh Muhaddith Rahimahullah is saying that the companionship of the spiritual masters is one of the most superior forms of ibadat. The proof he is giving is that when a seeker observes their firmness and steadfastness, it gives him courage and strength. This enables him to bear difficulties in doing good actions. When he beholds their beauty, his heart develops enlightenment which removes the darkness of doubts and the veil is raised. Now, the same theme is expressed in by Hazrat Qazi Sanaullah Panipati Rahimahullah. He says, A group comprising countless people of whom it is not conceivable that they will concur in fabricating a lie and whose every member is on such a level of piety and knowledge that it is impermissible to accuse him of lying have stated that in their writings and speeches that the company, the sohbat of the spiritual masters created a new condition in their hearts. This condition caused them to love Allah and His friends, created an enthusiasm for good actions, conferred them with a divine uh, inspiration for righteous deeds, and entrench true and correct beliefs in them. This is a condition which ought to be referred to as perfection. It is a condition which is a catalyst for many other perfections and excellences. The Kazisa prevents a striking and cognate proof of the blessings and benefits of 
the company, the sohbat of the spiritual masters. Namely, countless people develop a new spiritual condition which they did not have previously. He then describes the group wherein every member is on the highest level of piety and knowledge, making it impossible to accuse them of fabricating a lie. If this is the condition of every member of a group, it will obviously be immensely dependable and reliable. And if its members pass a unanimous decision on a certain matter, it will certainly be an absolute and definite decision. As though Qadi Saab is saying that such a large number of people in every era have been speaking and writing on this, that it has reached the level of Tawatur. Now there is no room for rejection by anyone. The new condition which develops in the heart by virtue of the company of the spiritual masters is known as a nisbate ihsan. And the article goes on. Now, by means of sohbat, we learn here that mujahadat and mashaqqat actually becomes easy. Hazrat Zayn al-Abideen, when he is to stand up for his salat, getting ready with his wudu, he would go pale in the face. On people inquiring, he would answer, Do you not know in front of whom I am going to stand? You know, it just came to my mind now that I should read uh, from this. I didn't, I didn't even have it uh, anywhere. It came to my mind now and I'm reading from it. Now Allah Ta'ala bless us with these type of ahwal. Now here yeah, we go on. Hazrat Zainul Abidin and Asmu'i Asmu'i relates I was performing tawaf of the Kaaba one night when I saw a youngster holding onto the ghilaf the cover of the Kaaba saying these couplets Ya may yujibu dua al-muttarri fi al-dhulami Ya kashif al-durri wal-balwa fi al-saqami O that being who accepts the supplication of the restless in the darkness, O oh, the one who removes affliction and grief from the sick, قَدْ نَامَ وَفْدُكَ حَوْلَ الْبَيْتِ وَانْتَهَبُوا وَأَنْتَ يَا حَيُّ يَا قَيُّمُ لَمْ تَنَمِي The delegation which came to you walked around the Kaaba, then slept and woke up again. But you, O oh, the loving, the upholder of all, never sleep. أَدْعُوكَ Rabbi Hazinan Haiman Kalaka Farham Buka e Bihakil Baiti Wal Harami O my Allah I am beseeching you while I am in the state of worry, distress and anguish. So show mercy to my crying by virtue of the Kaaba and the Haram. In Kana Ju Dukala Yarjuhu Du Safhin Faman Yajudu Al Asina Bil Karami. If a foolish person, a sinner, cannot have hope of your pardon, who is going to pardon the sinner with kindness? The person read the above couplets, cried profusely, and then made the following dua Allah, ayyuhal maqsudu fi kulli hajatin, shakautu ilayka durra, farham shikayati. O oh, you who are the objective, or for every need, I describe my problem to you, so remove my problem. Allah, ya rajai, anta takshifu kurbati, fahabli, dhunubi, kullaha, waqdi hajati. O oh, the being in whom I placed all my hopes, you alone can remove my worry and grief, pardon all my sins. And fulfill my needs. Atay to be a'malin kibahin radiyatin. 
وما في الوراء عبد جنا كجنايتي I have come before you with the despicable and contemptible sins. I do not think that there is anyone in the world who is a worse sinner than me. أتحركني بالماء أتحركني بالنار يا غاية المنا فأين رجائي ثم أين مخافتي أو The ultimate, the end of all my hopes. Are you going to burn me in the fire? If this were to happen, of what benefit would my hopes have been? And of what benefit would my fear have been? In other words, my hopes in you and my fear of you did not benefit me. After saying the above, the person lost consciousness and fell to the ground. Asmu'i relates, I went close to the youngster and I realized that he was Hazrat Zainul Abidin Ali ibn Hussein ibn Ali ibn Abi Talib rahimah, rahimahullah. On seeing this, I raised his head, placed it in my lap and began crying myself. A few droplets, a few drops of my tears fell on his cheek. This caused him to open his eyes and he said, Who is this person who has become an obstacle between me and my Allah and is crowding me? I replied, Hazrat, I am your servant Asmu'i. I added, O oh, our master, you are from the family of the Prophet and from the fountainhead of messengership. Why then are you so fearful? Did Allah Ta'ala not say, إِنَّمَا يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ لِيُذْهِبَ عَنْكُمُ الرِّجْسَ أَهْلَ الْبَيْتِ وَيُطَهِّرَكُمْ تَطْهِيرًا Allah only wants to remove loathsome things from you, O family of the Prophet, and to completely purify you. He replied, O oh, Asmu'i, what are you saying? Allah Ta'ala created Jannah for his obedient servants, even if they are Abyssinian slaves, and hell for the sinners, even if they are free, Qurayshi people. Did Allah Ta'ala not say, فَإِذَا نُفِخَ فِي السُّورِ فَلَا أَنْسَابَ بَيْنَهُمْ يَوْمَ إِذِوْ وَلَا يَتَسَاءَلُونَ فَمَنْ ثَقُلَتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ وَمَنْ خَفَّتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَأُولَئِكَ الَّذِينَ خَسِرُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ فِي جَهَنَّمَ خَالِدُونَ Then, when the trumpet is blown, neither will there be any kinship on that day, nor will they ask about one another. Then, he whose scales are heavy, it is they who are successful, and he whose scales are light, it is they who squandered their own selves, abiding in hell forever. Now, subhanallah, look at the pure hal and condition of his pure heart. At the same time, he followed the sunnah strictly by demonstrating the hal and condition of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for future generations through his own condition, how many people he must have influenced and impacted through his spiritual condition. This is known to Allah Ta'ala alone. This chain continued and will continue even if it is in minuscule amounts. Now we continue to the fear and submission of Sayyidina Abdul Qadir Jilani. Now observe the fear and submission of Hazrat Sayyidina Abdul Qadir Jilani. Hazrat Sheikh Saadi Rahimahullah writes in his Gulista that Hazrat Sheikh Rahimahullah went for Hajj one year. People saw him placing his forehead on the pebbles which were in the Haram of the Kaaba and he was making dua. O oh Allah, pardon me. If I am deserving of punishment, then raise me on the day of Qiyamah as a blind person so that I do not have to feel ashamed in front of the pious ones. Now, subhanallah, what a beautiful condition of hope and fear. 
we always hear the words hope and fear being uttered but we are able to understand their real meaning by observing the hal the spiritual condition and actions of these personalities you know it came to my mind that i should read this today na allah taala bless us with these ahwal and allah make the decision of our admission into jannah and the decision of our protection against the fire of hell now you know that i'm not feeling well tabiyat kharab hi chal raha hai make dua that allah taala gives us the tawfiq and the hidayat of taking ibrat and great lesson from these uh, waqiat now just like how we keep in our minds the masail of fiqh similarly we need to keep in our minds the batini masail like what we have discussed these type of masail batini masail these waqiat etc we should keep it in our mind ربنا تقبل منا انك انت السميع العليم وتب علينا انك انت التواب الرحيم بحرمه سيد النبي الكريم صلى الله عليه وسلم